Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. This time is the SH Figure Arts Gates Revive Savior set, and uh, let's get started. Everyone knows I've been enjoying Kamen Rider, and I really did enjoy Zio. And Gates is one of my favorite characters. And it's cool to see the uh, true savior set, which is his Goretsu and Shippu form. And it's really, really nice because the transition of it, while tedious, is a, it's pretty much a lot of fun. You get a two-in-one figure, and it's very rare that you get that kind of stuff. Uh, and it's done so well. So anyway, let's jump into the actual review. And let's talk about this because basically I got to review two figures in one. Because uh, you got to do each form. Now, we're going to start off with Goretsu. And this is his armored form. It is the powered time, and this form is the heavily armored form that keeps him protected. This is the backside of it. The orange and the reds and the black and whites, they all work very well. Shows that he protects that upper torso. And, uh, you know, nobody ever goes to the lower half. I don't know why, but they never do. And it's really cool. Now, let's talk about articulation. Our head can go up. It has a nice range of looking up. We can go down. And as you can see, the chest plate is going to get in the way, so you can't look too far down. Our arms are... Shoulder-wise, it's really cool because with all SHF stuff, you get these arms that are pretty much the shoulder pads are connected to it, and they have a lot of range on their own on the arms, which allows you to have a lot of articulation. I'll get into that in a second. So while we pull this back into the side, you see when our arms go up, we can still reach a uh, very decent height. And then we can rotate all the way around with no issue. And going forward, there is a bicep swivel. Ooh, what did I drop? I dropped something. Oh, I dropped the shoulder. Now that's on the back side, and I'll get into that in a second. Let me put this back on. Now, we have a bicep swivel. Our arms are double jointed for maximum articulation. You get your standard SHF joint, which rotates around and on a peg that goes back, forth, left, and right, hits it 360 degrees. And our upper torso, we have a very nice range of movement that allows for range. As you can see, he can get really far forward with the ab crunch and go and dip backwards on that hinge as well, and as well as tilt side to side. So your range of motion is actually not, not limited at all with this. It's all a matter of imagination. You also have a lower movement as well. As far as legs go, uses that uh, semi 2.0 technology, not the 3.0 from the renewal line, where the legs still drop down, but it's a much better build than the older figures. And our leg articulation is double jointed as well. We have decent ankle pivot, not really great, but decent. And there is still toe pivot, and we can go backwards and forwards. Ooh. Oh, don't forget that thigh swivel. Sorry. Thigh swivel. Now, what's really cool about this is the fact that, again, it comes as a two-in-one set. So you get the ability to switch things around. Now, with the armored time, I'm mean, sorry, with the powered time, you get the go to two in this stage of the watch, and then you swap it over for the speed time. Now, I'm going to slowly shift this guy over, but first things first, I do want to talk about one thing is that our range of movement in the Goretsu form is actually really, really nice. We can still put our arms up to protect ourselves. We can still uh, get range to go forward. We can tilt our head pretty much for a very nice expression. And, uh, oh, actually, and this is something I forgot to test, but let's, let's look at this. Let's see how our kicks go. Because we can use the drop down method and it looks like even with the drop down method, because of this leg gauntlet, you're hindered, you're hindered just a bit in the leg articulation area. So keep that in mind. But even in, there it is. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. <laughs> so there's our one stipulation. If you go too far forward while trying to do a kickstand, as you see, you'll lose a little bit of range. Now, I'm going to put the power time back on because there's still something I very much would like to test here. Let me just line this up. Oop, got it upside down. No, I don't. I had it right side up. <laughs> there we go. Now, I just want to line it up, see how this kick goes. Because even though he's very top heavy, I would like to see if he still balances. And now I dropped the watch. I'm tripping today. But it's just one of those days, right? Now, even with all of this going on, I would very much like to see how he can balance. And this is just me taking the time to see if I can do it. So it looks like even with the top heaviness, just won't balance the way I want. Oh, wait, I was wrong. <laughs> I was absolutely wrong and I'm sorry. So looks like he can balance even while being top heavy. And that's a really good thing to see. Now, what we're going to do is actually change it over to the shippu form. So we can talk about what's going on with that. Now with this, what I usually just is 
as you saw the chest plate comes out really nicely you're actually going to replace the waist area as well the watch already fell out i picked that up already and that's not a problem so we'll get into the other one as well these ball joints you're going to pull up and outward i highly suggest you do it that way up and outward and then last but not least the most difficult one for me is not the face but the face actually you just pull out is going to be the back side i always have trouble because i don't really have nails but you pull the back side out there's going to be two plug pieces Ooh, and this one always gives me trouble i don't know why there it is so we have now the bare body. We are going to switch them over into ship who form. So we're gonna bring out all the pieces as we go over it one by one. And first things first, I'm probably going to do the watch. So here is the speed time watch. Oop, sorry. Let's go to two again, sorry. Speed time. <laughs> I'm so clumsy today. So plugs in, then we're going to go over the faceplate plugs right in. We're going to do the back side. Oh, actually, I've learned my lesson with that. Let's go over the shoulders first. The shoulders, I suggest you just reverse the same process. You just slap down. Slide right on. So you line it up to where the, the ball joints will come slide back down like this. And then you just push in and apply a little bit of pressure. Voila. Like so. Then we're going to add lower chest plate then we're going to add the back panels for flight on shipu these should plug right in with no problem where's the other one i just had it i don't know what i did with it and now i've lost it oh no what did i do oh anyway <laughs> the chest plate here we go and now we are in shipu form i have to find that one shoulder blade very quickly i don't know what i did with it so actually give me one second i'm going to pause it and come back to it so give me one sec like a crazy man didn't realize it was right here in front of me i'm too busy trying to look around there i go <laughs> so excuse me for that y'all a little clueless but now we have shipu form which i very very much love this form i think it looks fantastic with the blues and the wings out and as a two-in-one form, I think this was a very great transition about how they pulled this off. It is a dope figure. And I really hope that going forward, we can get more stuff like this. Now, range on this is just the same. You actually get a little bit better range. At least it looks better. Because going forward, as you can see, our articulation is still just about the same. It's not hindered by anything that was in Goretsu. You actually get a lot more range of motion in the face. It's way more expressive with the collars down. You can see here. And for those that are going to ask, these were from SHF Upgrade because it does not come with the colored ones. I was just having a blast added mine on. Shout out to Jeremy who showed me how to do that in the first place. And as you can see, Shippu can get really expressive with its posing because it has none of those hindrances on the power time that you do with speed time. And I really enjoy stuff like this. This two-in-one is probably one of the best things I've seen come out of SHF. And one of the best things I've seen come out of Kamen Rider. It just, it looks fantastic in this form. I'm having a really great time. Now, I'm going to leave him posed up on speed time. Voila. Oh, let me see if you can pose. I just got that Yo Gotti song stuck in my head. There we go. Nice and posed up. I'm going to talk about his weapons and hands, which is probably the one thing that he does not come a lot with, uh, it would be the hands. Now, first off with hands, you get your open action palms. You've already seen your standard fist that you get. And then you get two hands for holding weapons. When I actually have the hand weapon on, so let me take that off. And these are weapon holding hands. And then you get Gates Revive's uh, standard weapon. Now this has a small transition into it, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. This is it in its powered saw mode. It looks really cool. It's very simple too. So to swap it around, what you do is you're going to take out the saw. And as it transitions from his right to his left hand, which is his gimmick, right? You just rotate this over. And then you're going to have a replacement part that slides in over where, the, where it is. Like it's rotating in. So voila. This, again, is one of those things I really, really like how they did this. It was really dope. 
And then just in case you wanted to know, there is a spot here to place the rod watches when you do a power up move or a finisher. So let's leave them off in speed time, move all this stuff to the side. Gotta honestly say I'm really enjoying this and I hope you guys enjoy the photos for this because I was having a blast with them. Just trying to do something different, but it's kind of felt the same too. Now, I'm gonna stand him up. We're gonna do a size comparison. Size him up with other SHF as well as other lines. Do, 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 do. There we go. Looking real good and clean. Voila. Now, first things first, we're gonna compare him up to ZO2 and Waz. And uh, really had a good time with these guys. I think they look really good together. So this is speed time with ZO2. This is, all right, I'm just gonna go call it Gates Revive, but I just keep calling it speed time. And here he is with Waz. And the three together, before we at least get Waz Ginga, they look really, really nice. It's one of those things where I like the, uh, the differences in between them. While all being a lot of different colors, they look good as a team together. Like uh, if for those of you that enjoy Palmer Rangers, this is definitely gonna be something that's reminiscent with you. It's gonna relatable, it's kind of relatable to you. Next up, we're going to compare it to Gates' regular form. So here he is. Voila. And as you can see, he's had, a, he's had some transitioning. Next up, we're going to compare it to SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga. And as well as Kuga, we are going to compare it to a Combat Shockerman. This is in the 2.0 body. So these ones are actually a little bit smaller than their previous counterparts. Keep that in mind. Next up, we're going to compare it to a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Then we're going to compare it to a 1000 Toy Synthetic Human. Nope. Then we have an Articulated Icons Ninja. Now, as you can see here, he actually doesn't look bad with any of these guys. I think because of the way the horns point up, he looks a lot closer and bigger, but he's really not. Now, <clears throat> next up, we're going to do a Mezco Me on a Gomez Stealth Body. And then we're going to do a Mythic Legions Chrono, which I'm actually working on a review for that too. So yeah, overall, I'm really, really enjoying this figure and I'm having a great time. It, uh, if you are a fan of Gates, this is definitely going to be a toy that you want. You should definitely check it out. I have enjoyed it. But if you aren't and you're kind of on the fence, especially with it being Tamashi Web exclusive, I know this may be a problem for some of you guys. But I did hope it you know, helped you figure out which one you wanted, figure out what you want. Hopefully, it'll be something you see in the near future or not. And just enjoy the review. In the meantime, guys, as always, be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.